I'm going to make a quick video on how to set up a PowerFlex 525 with Control Logics and Compact Logics. First thing you're going to need is for the drive, you'll simply hook up your PowerFlex 525. I just hook it up directly to my computer over Ethernet, use the boot piece server, and give it an IP address. After that, just start a new project and make your changes to the parameters in 5000. Once you're done with that, just a matter of going online, offline, downloading to the drive, and um, running your RSLogix 5000. Now once I'm in RSLogix 5000, all you need to do to add a new drive is go into your Ethernet tab, say new module, and then select the PowerFlex 525 drive, which is right here. Say create. Once this pops up, just like you do any other drive on Ethernet, just give it a name. Go to the change button and now we need to make sure that we have the same revision that the drive that you bought is running at. Right now the version I have is Rev 1.2 so I set that up. If I want I can add a number of data links to my job if I wanted to see some other parameters that it doesn't give me by default. Um, example output current might be one but for now I'm just gonna take the defaults we've told it what horsepower the drive is so mine is a one horse 110 volt half horse drive and now you'll end up going to your drives tab from here we can pretty much set up all the parameters that we want for the 525 with the 525, I can go in and look at the parameters that I've got set up in the drive. You would make the changes to whichever parameters you wanted as far as your maximum frequency you want to run, you know, what your drive is, uh, what mode you want to operate in. For the most part, um, you're going to just change maybe your start stop source, maybe you want to change your XL time from 10 to 5 seconds, your decel time from 10 to 5 seconds, um, what your maximum frequency is. Notice with the PowerFlex 525 my start source is automatically set to Ethernet IP because I'm putting it in RSLogix 5000 it knows that I'm probably going to want to control it using Ethernet IP. So for me, those are the only changes that I'm going to make. Go down and uh, so I've made my changes. Close that box. Now what you want to do is because I've made changes, I now need to download those changes to the drive and do that offline in RSLogix 5000 because it does have this integrated drives executive type um, em embedded software in the 5000 software. So now that I've made my changes offline I'm going to download to the PowerFlex drive so the parameters are going to match what I have in my ACD file for RSLogix 5000 pick the drive that you're going to be using and pick my PowerFlex 525 drive and download the project to the drive. Now that I've downloaded to the drive I should be all set up to say OK to this. Um, actually I need to put in my IP address
So now I can simply download my application to my Compact Logics L35E in this case. And put it in run mode. Now you can see the PowerFlex 525 I created here is happy. It doesn't have a yellow triangle here. Sometimes what might happen if you don't download the file offline to the drive, the parameters won't match um, what this ArsLogix 5000 ACD file has and you would end up with a yellow triangle here. If that happens you just need to go offline and download to the drive first. Um, that's about it. Uh, I did put in it just a couple of rungs of logic here to start and stop the drive. Um, I've got a tag called commanded frequency. One thing to note, commanded frequency, it has two implied decimals, so if I want to run my drive at 33.44 hertz, I put in a value of 33.444. So, anyway, that's it. Um, if anybody has any other questions, they can always call Dave Henke, our drive specialist at Werner Electric, and I'm sure he can help you out. That's it. Thanks. Bye.